Okay, good day everyone. So in this video, we're going to discuss cooling towers. Okay, so basically, cooling tower is used to cool water. So ito yung basic illustration natin ng cooling tower. So ito yung pasukan ng hangin. And then, so ito yung inlet ng water or hot water na papalamigin natin. And then ito yung outlet. So basically, so yung ibang tubig, sumasama dun sa hangin. So natatangay ng hangin yan. So, kaya kailangan natin ng make up water. Yan. So ito lang yung basic illustration. And then from here, we can... Uh, derive formulas or write our formulas. And then, ito naman yung illustration natin pagdating sa psychrometric chart. So, kung mapapansin natin, ito ay heating and humidifying. Ibig sabihin, yung hangin, uminit siya, tapos tumas din yung kanyang humidity. Okay, so first formula range, so that is simply the difference between the inlet and the outlet temperature of water. And then approach is simply the difference between the temperature of the water leaving the tower and the wet bulb temperature of air entering the tower. And then efficiency, and so range over range plus approach lang. So TA minus TB over and TA minus TWB1. So ito kasi pag pinag plus natin, so makakancel yung TB or T sub B. Okay, so multiplied by 100%. Then make up water required using mass balance. We can derive that. Okay, so take note lang. Dito ay uh, M5 yung ating variable for uh, make up water. So yun, M5. So pwede natin siyang isolve based dun sa M3 tsaka yung sa M4. Or based dun sa humidity absorbed by the air. Or, or that is simply M1 multiplied by quantity W2 minus W1. Okay, and then heat balance. So, dito naman sa heat balance, pwede natin i-relate yung uh, heat absorbed ng uh, air, of course, and then heat rejected by water. So, yung heat absorbed ng air ay M1 multiplied by the difference in the enthalpy. So, kung wala tayong change in humidity ratio, ang formula natin for heat absorbed ng air ay MCP delta T lang din. So, assuming wala tayong humidity ratio or change in humidity ratio. Ito ay MCP T2 minus T1. Okay, so take note again, dito ay walang change in humidity ratio. Pero dito, meron sa kapag enthalpy ang ginamit natin for uh, heat absorbed by the air. Then heat rejected by water, pwedeng in terms of enthalpy or in terms of uh, temperature. So, dito, take note lang yung specific heat ay for water which is equal to 4.187 kilojoules per kilogram degrees uh, Celsius or this is also equal to 1.0 uh, BTU per pounds uh, degrees Fahrenheit or Rankine. The next formula or relationship between the variables, so we can perform energy balance. Okay, so lahat lang ng product ng mass and then enthalpy entering, equate lang natin siya sa living. Ngayon, dito sa M5 tsaka H5, yung ating make up water, kapag walang given halimbawa na H5, so pwede natin itong i-neglect. Okay? Then last formula, so percent make up water, so that is simply the ratio of uh, M5 and M3. So this is multiplied by 100%. Okay, so first problem, a mechanical draft cooling tower cools the cooling water from 60 degrees Celsius to 25. Okay, so take note lang na ito ay water. So ito yung kanyang entering and then ito yung leaving at a rate of some 149.4 gigagrams per hour. So that is our M3. Okay, atmospheric air enters the tower at 20. So ito yon. 20 degrees Celsius. So, ito ay dry bulb temperature or this is simply T1 and leaves at 35 degrees Celsius. So, yung outlet condition or outlet temperature ng hangin ay 35. Okay? So, may iba pang given dito yung power ng motor. So, ito yun. So, 7,400 kilowatt. So, hindi naman natin gagamitin itong isang to. Kaya, hindi na natin siya susulat sa given. Okay? So, lahat ng given nandito na. Okay? So, take note lang natin palagi yung mga yan before solving the unknown. Okay? So, yung unknown natin dito ay mass flow rate ng air entering the uh, cooling tower. Although yung M dito or yung mass flow rate ng 0.1, so 0.2 pareho lang. So, let us denote that as M sub 1. Okay? So, the unit will be uh, in kilogram per second. So, dito, kung mapapansin natin, ang given ay mass flow rate then temperature. Okay? Wala tayong given enthalpy. And then dito, meron tayong temperature ulit. Wala tayong ibang given properties ng hangin. Okay? So, hindi tayo makapag-solve ng enthalpy. Unless, may isa pang given properties dito, pwede tayong makapag-solve ng enthalpies. Okay? So, itong problem na to, i-assume natin na constant yung ating humidity ratio. So, yung W1 is equal to W2. Kaya, ang process niya sa psychrometric chart ay diretso lang. Ayan, sensible heating. So, dito lang natin ngayon ibibase yung ating heat absorbed by the air. So, sensible heating lang yan. So, therefore, 
MCP, uh, delta T lang yung ating magiging formula. So, solution, again, heat absorbed by the air is equal to heat rejected by water. So, MCP, mass flow rate ng hangin, so M1. Then, specific heat ng air multiplied by uh, T2 minus T1. So, T2, 35, and then T1 ay 20. Dito sa right side ng ating equation, so M3 multiplied by uh, CP ng water multiplied by T3 minus T4. So, substitute lahat ng values na given. So, ang magiging unit natin dito for M1 is uh, gigagrams per hour. Pero ang required kasi dito ay kilogram per second. So, i-convert pa natin yan later. Okay? So, ang M1 ay equal to. So, ang masasalb natin dito na M1 na naka gigagrams per hour ay 1,450.59. So, convert lang natin to into kilogram per second. So, ito ay divided by 3,600 second per hour. And then, yung gigagrams to kilogram, so 1, uh, 1 million kilogram per gigagram. So, ang maging sagot natin dito ay 402,941.67 kilograms per second. So, ngayon dito, kung ididiretso natin i-convert yung uh, gigagrams papunta sa kilogram per second, so may konting difference lang. O di kaya yung CP natin dito, kung gagawin natin siyang 1.0, o di kaya 1.0, 0, 1. And may kunting difference din dito. Anyway, ito yung ating magiging uh, final answer dito sa video. So, next problem. The change of enthalpy of air in a cooling tower is 35 BTU per pound. So, take note, ito ay delta H or change in enthalpy ng hangin. So, therefore, ito ay H2 minus H1. Then, next mass flow rate of air is 453.17 pounds per minute or that is our M1. Water enters the tower at rate of 50 gallons per minute and 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Determine the exit temperature. So, ang exit temperature na hinahanap dito ay temperature ng ating water. Kasi dito sa hangin, hindi naman natin alam yung temperature na entering dito. Kaya hindi natin masasolve yung outlet temperature or exit temperature ng hangin. So, ang anong dito ay T sub B. Ito yung mga given and then ito yung unknown natin. So, enthalpy dito sa uh, point 0.1 and point 0.2 and then mass flow rate. So, meron tayong heat A. Ngayon, dito sa unknown, meron tayong T sub B and then meron din tayong given na T sub A. So, therefore, we can relate yung, again, yung heat absorbed ng hangin dun sa heat rejected. So, equate lang natin sila. So, this time, gagamitin natin yung enthalpy dun sa uh, heat absorbed ng hangin. So, M1 multiplied by H2 minus H1 is equal to so, dito naman sa heat rejected by water. So, since given yung uh, temperature, gagamitin natin formula ay MCP uh, delta T. Okay? So, mass of uh, water. So, that is M3. CP of water and then delta T is your T3 minus T4 or T sub B and T sub A. So, lagyan natin dito T A minus T sub B. So, mass flow rate ng water. So, wala tayo kasi meron tayo volume flow rate. So, therefore, kailangan natin gamitin yung relationship ng density tsaka ng uh, mass tsaka volume. Since volume flow rate yung given, so ito ay volume flow rate and then ito naman ay uh, mass flow rate. Okay? So, we are solving for uh, M sub 3. So, ito ay MB, volume flow rate sa 0.3. Then, ito ay density ng uh, water. Kaya yung M3 natin dito, papalitan natin siya ng uh, density of water multiplied by the volume flow rate given, then our delta T. So, wala tayong given na density ng water. So, therefore, yung standard ang gagamitin natin. So, substitute lang natin lahat and then convert lang natin yung uh, gallon to cubic foot para consistent yung ating unit. So, yung masusol natin T sub B dito ay naka uh, degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Yan, kung anong unit ng ating temperature dito kanina. So, ito ay 76.97 degrees Fahrenheit. So, next problem, air at 29 degrees dry bulb and 23.5 degrees Celsius wet bulb enters a cooling tower. So, ito yung inlet temperatures, dry bulb tsaka wet bulb. Yan. So, meron tayong mass flow rate na 102 kg per minute. It leaves the cooling tower at 13 degrees Celsius dry bulb and humidity ratio of 0.0436. Hot water enters the tower at 46.5 degrees Celsius. So, ito naman yung entering temperature ng water. So, T sub A and a mass flow rate M3 so, 142.2 kg per minute. So, determine the cooling tower efficiency in percent. So, ito yung ating formula. So, dito sa formula, kung titignan natin, meron tayong TWB1, uh, T sub A. Okay? So, wala tayong uh, T sub B. So, ito yung kailangan natin isolve. So, again, based from the given, paano ba natin ngayon isasolve yung T sub B? So, meron tayong mass flow rate and then temperature. Okay? So, therefore, as usual, we can relate the heat absorbed by the air and then heat rejected by water. Pero dito sa heat absorbed by air, ano ba yung gagamitin natin? So, dito, meron tayong dalawang properties. Then, dito, 
sa point 2, meron ding dalawang properties. So, magagamit natin ngayon yung enthalpy. So, H2 minus H1 dito, multiplied by the mass flow rate, M1. Then, sa right side, heat rejected by water since temperature T sub B yung kailangan. So, gagamitin natin yung M3 Cp water multiplied by Ta minus Tb. So, substitute lang natin lahat. Pero dito, oh, hindi pa kasi given yung enthalpy is H2 tsaka H1. So, therefore, kukunin muna natin yan sa ating uh, psychrometric chart. So, from the psychrometric chart. So, ito, ginamitan ko na ng software para mabilis. Okay. So, ito yung magiging value natin ng H1 tsaka H2 dun sa points 1 and 2. So, substitute lang natin to dito sa ating uh, formula to solve for T sub B. And then, again, yung ating uh, M1 and then yung M3. So, consistent naman yung ating unit. So, yung ating T sub B dito ay 32.77 uh, degrees Celsius. So, therefore, the efficiency is equal to... So, substitute lang natin lahat yung T sub A and then T sub B over T sub A minus T W B1. So, masasolve natin yung efficiency na... 59.7% So next problem A cooling tower receives 30 cubic meter per minute of air So yan ay volume flow rate ng hangin At 32 degrees Celsius dry bulb So T sub 1 or T DB1 32 degrees Celsius And 24 degrees Celsius wet bulb Okay, so leave saturated at 29 degrees Celsius So temperature ay 29 And then take note lang Pag sinabi saturated Ibig sabihin 100% yung ating RH Water enters the tower at 36 degrees Celsius. So, T sub A, so 38. And then, meron tayong enthalpy, uh, 159.21. With a mass flow rate of 35 kg per minute. So, M3. Determine the enthalpy of the living water in kilojoules per kilogram. So, dito, hinahanap yung enthalpy dito. So, H4. Yung ating unknown. So, take note lang yung HF dito ay yung mismong enthalpy sa point 3. Okay, so uh, again, ito yung unknown. Then, ito yung mga given. Okay, so enthalpy dito sa water. And then dito, meron tayong uh, temperature. And then dalawang properties. Okay, so RH and then wet bulb temperature. So although may volume flow rate, masasolve natin ngayon yung uh, mass flow rate. So ngayon, paano ba natin i-relate yung dalawa? Again, pwede natin silang i-relate gamit yung energy balance or heat balance. So dalawa yung ating solution. Ayan, pwede natin gamitin to. So, H4 naman yung anon. So, parehong may H4 dito. Kapag sa energy balance, wala tayong H5. So, pwede natin ineglect to. Ayan. Okay? So, dalawa yung ating magiging solution. So, compare natin later on kung malaki yung difference ba or maliit. So, kapag ito yung ginamit natin, kailangan natin ng enthalpies dito sa point 1 sa point 2. Ayan. Okay? And then, dito naman sa kabila, since enthalpy yung given, H3, pwede natin gamitin ngayon ito. Or ito talaga yung gagamitin natin. Okay? Kasi ito yung unknown, yung H3. Or H4. Yan, given yung H3. So, meron tayong M3. Yan. So, itong dalawang to ngayon ang una natin gagamitin equation. So, dito obviously kailangan natin yung uh, enthalpies. So, doon sa point 1 tsaka point 2. So, kukunin muna natin yun. And then again, since uh, volume flow rate yung given, alam naman natin mass flow rate is equal to volume flow rate over specific volume. Kailangan din natin yung specific volume doon sa point 1 para doon sa M1. Okay? So, solving for or determine the properties of air at point 1 and 2. So, ito na yun. So, doon lang tayong humidity ratio, specific volume, and then enthalpy. So, after natin i-determine yung mga properties, pwede natin ngayon gamitin yung ating equation. So, ito yung uh, dalawang to. Okay? And then, yung M1, palitan na natin ng uh, volume flow rate over specific volume. So, substitute lang natin lahat. So, ayan. So, consistent naman yung ating unit. So, masasolve natin dito yung H4 na 137.11 kJ per kilogram. Okay, doon sa ating second solution. Again, halos pareho lang. Yun nga lang, uh, dito sa second solution, kukunin lang natin yung uh, M4. Kasi dito kanina, given na yung M3 at H3, and then yung M1, meron na rin tayo nyan doon sa previous solution. And then yung H1, ito lang. So, yung H4 na ano natin, so nandito siya. So, wala tayong M4 ngayon. Ngayon, paano ba natin susolve yung M4? So, from the relation between the mass of moisture removed or yung M1 multiplied by W2 minus W1. Equate natin siya sa M3 minus M4. Actually, ito ay M5. Ayan. So, from M5 actually yung ating formula to solve for uh, M4. So, yung M3 given, yung M4 yung isosolve natin, yung M1. So, meron naman na tayo sa previous solution. Tsaka yung uh, volume flow rate tsaka specific volume, meron naman tayo. So, substitute lang natin yan later on. Okay. So, Substitute yung M3, so meron tayo 35, then minus M4 equal to the volume flow rate over the specific volume multiplied by the difference in humidity ratio. So, ito yung uh, pinanggalingan ng ating humidity ratio. So, masasolve natin ngayon yung M4 dyan na 
648 kilogram per minute. So, kapag meron na tayong M4, balik na tayo dun sa ating main equation. So, solve natin yung H4. So, substitute lang natin lahat. Ayan. So, masasolve natin ngayon yung H4 na 137.98 kilojoules per kilogram. So, maliit lang yung difference nila dun sa ating first solution. Then, last problem for this video. 850,000 kilogram per hour of water. So, mas flow rate ito ng water. So, therefore, yan ay M3. At 35 degrees Celsius, so yun ay T sub A, uh, enters sa cooling tower where it is to be cooled to 17.5. So therefore, ito ay T sub B. So this is 17.5. The energy is to be exchanged with atmospheric air entering the unit at 15 degrees Celsius. So ito ay T sub 1 or T db 1 and leaving the unit at 30 degrees Celsius. So ito naman yung ating T2. The air enters at 30% RH. So RH1 yun and then leaves at 85% RH. If all processes are assumed to occur at atmospheric pressure, determine the percentage of total water flow that is make up water. So, ang hinahanap dito ay percent make up water, which is simply equal to M5 over uh, M3 multiplied by 100%. Uh, percent. So, ngayon, uh, given naman na yung M3, ang wala tayo ay uh, M5. So, solving for M5, so again, M5 is equal to M1 multiplied by W2 minus W1. So, yung W1, meron na tayo. Then, let us solve for uh, M1. So, yung M1, again, from heat balance. So, solving for M1, dito naman tayo sa uh, heat balance. So, M1 multiplied by H2 minus H1 is equal to M3 uh, Cp of water multiplied by Ta minus Tb. So, substitute lang natin yung H2, H1, M3, Cp, and then yung dalawang temperature to solve for M1. So, ang masusolve nating M1 dito ay 277,316.25 kg per hour. So, kapag meron tayong M1, balik na tayo dun sa ating M5. So, substitute lang natin yung M1 dito and then yung dalawang humidity ratio. So, masasal naman natin dito na M5 ay uh, 5,518.59 kg per hour. So, therefore, the percent of makeup water is equal to so, substitute lang natin ngayon yung M5 tsaka yung ating M3. That is equal to 2.2 or 2.21%. So, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.